Thanks. I'm, I'm here for a number of reasons, and some of you may know that I just came from CPAC. CPAC, which devoted a grand total before I started blabbing of 20 minutes to the most important existential policy issue in America. And uh, my career over the last 25 years has been defined by immigration coverage, first from a security standpoint with invasion in 2002, and then uh, with growth and, and learning and um, perhaps a much later epiphany than, than many others who've been fighting, fighting these battles on the economic front with a, a book that I co-authored with a, a friend and, and a writer and, and researcher here at, at uh, the Center for Immigration Studies, John Miano, uh, the former computer programmer turned labor lawyer. And uh, those books were, were, were somewhat um, bookends for me. And it, it's interesting because in sort of the mainstream establishment of the conservative movement, the, the kind that is essentially um, ruled at, at CPAC for, for year after year after year, there's been, in, in my mind, um, not as much progress in the, the kind of an enlightenment that the Center for Immigration Studies um, is uh, responsible for and has been. And you hear it with this, this talking point, the, this, this platitude from many sort of defensive virtue signalers that, quote unquote, I'm f against illegal immigration, but for legal immigration. What, what does that mean? I mean, what numbers, how much, and who? And so um, the kind of work that, that Jason um, has done and um, produced with this study, as well as his past work, is incredibly important because uh, asking the questions and trying to answer them is um, so necessary, um, especially in this environment where the donor class and the, 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 the establishment Republican ruling class don't want those questions asked. Um, I also find that uh, over the last quarter century of, of speaking about these issues, that there's a very frustrating bitter clinging to an idealized notion of how the immigration system used to work. And, um, and the nostalgia is misinforming people about how the system works. And that's why uh, John and I teamed up together to write um, Sold Out. Uh, the idea, for example, that these thousands and thousands ten, and tens of thousands of people with H-1B visas are quote unquote the best and the brightest simply isn't uh, borne out by the data. And the data is the data. The data is not racist. The data is not xenophobic or discriminatory and it's not picking and choosing. The data is the data. And the data show that by and large the uh, the vast uh, majority of people with H-1B visas are journeymen, and they are of average skill. They are not the best and brightest. They're not starting uh, world-shaking companies. They are not earning uh, hundreds and thousands of, of patents that no American uh, can, can uh, secure and innovations that no American can, uh, uh, can come up with. And, um, and so the, the equation at the beginning that high skilled, high educate, highly educated does not equate to highly skilled um, perfectly complements the, the work that uh, John and I did in, in Sold Out. And in terms of this nostalgia, I have two sort of personal uh, points of interest here. You know, of course, the, the same kinds of, of forces on both the establishment left and, and right that don't want us even here talking about this and, and have tried to marginalize and, and ostracize people who do want to um, get to the facts as hate mongers, um, always like to remind me that I'm not white. Shocker! <laughs> you know, thank you for being my human mirrors. And they always like to remind me that my family did not come from America. Thank you, biographers. Was not aware of this fact. 
Uh, and then based on um, my own interviews that I've done with C-SPAN when I, when I first uh, published Invasion, they go ahead and regurgitate how my dad got here and how my mom got here. And back in 1970, when my uh, father, who was um, on the cutting edge of the field of neonatology, um, he had been sought out after. I mean, he was an incredibly talented. Uh, he went to a Catholic university, got a rigorous academic education, and um, had to pass many specialized tests in English um, in, in order to um, uh, be able to come here, uh, set foot in the first place, and, and do research and, and work. And that's not how it works anymore. <laughs> and so the idea that we should have these specialized tests is actually nothing new. We used to have these kinds of things. And, and, um, and it certainly wasn't novel for, for either of my parents uh, that they didn't merely have to have some rudimentary uh, level of, of uh, English literacy. They had, ha they had to show that they had mastered it before they, they even got here. Um, and 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 yet the 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 Wall Street Journal editorial page types um, are still living back in some imaginary era uh, when um, you know the kinds of hurdles and obstacles and um, merit tests uh, th that uh, you know were, were were once something that uh, that nobody considered uh, offensive um, were around uh, you know they 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 now don't want anybody to to talk about. Um, I thought it was particularly interesting that, that when you broke out that uh, the people who had arrived here more than five years ago still hadn't. That I, I don't know how to explain that. Um, and then the other thing, of course, that we talked and sold out that I thought was, was interesting as well was the wide prevalence, especially in India, but in China as well, of, of uh, diploma mills. Um, and and the, the implications that that has for um, whatever metric the bureaucrats in the uh, immigration and entrance system are, are using to determine what, what skill is. Um, John, of course, John Miano, my co-author, has uh, focused a lot on uh, OPT. Um, we had a, a chapter in our book about the um, exploitation of uh, the F-1 student visa uh, program as, as well, and um, the you know the diploma mills are not just overseas; they're they're here as well. And so when you've got people getting strip mall certificates, um, again, it just gets at this basic question of what is skill and what is a quality education. <laughs>